all right guys welcome back to the channel this is sam all right so this is binance testnet for their decentralized exchange now some of you might be wondering what's the difference between um what they had before and what we're looking at right now the binance dex well what they had before was a centralized exchange otherwise called cex this is dex so um in its centralized exchange all your funds are controlled by the company behind that exchange but in a decentralized exchange you have 100 percent control over your funds you don't need to deposit in the exchange you don't need to um, make a special um, request to withdraw because you have 100 percent access to your account and to your funds and also you have a private key remember uh, one of the rules in the crypto space is that if you don't have your private key to your crypto that means the crypto is not yours right so um that is what binance is trying to achieve um with with this um binance dex right so they want to make um trading decentralized so you can actually trade your crypto assets your digital assets in a decentralized platform right so this is what um i, I really love the um the ui and all so um i think this is this is what i was talking about here so um the first step is create a binance chain address um save your key store file plus password your mnemonic and private keys so um what this means is that you can actually log into this um binance chain or binance dex using your key store file your mnemonic keys or your private key now this mnemonic are made up of words you know sometimes there are 12 words sometimes there are 15 and private key uh, most of us know what private keys are and what they look like and a key store file is um is a file that will be downloaded into your um into your um your mobile phone or your into your device that you can also use to log in with your password now that creates more security all right so okay this is what we need to know as users and let's get on to the next thing these are just general information this was what i was talking about make it safe and secure because you have 100 percent access to your to your funds so now let's learn how to create an account now remember this is the test net and it's going to move to the main net later so to create a binance dex account now remember dex means decentralized exchange so you click create an account create a wallet rather and make sure to read the instructions right so click next and next you can also skip um, tutorials if you want to now you can think of the case of file like a user id why the password unlocks your wallet both are needed to access your wallet so keep them safe now remember i said the case of file is a file that will be downloaded into your system um, if you've ever if you've ever created a BitShares account, you will notice this is exactly um, what uh, BitShares looks like. So let's create an account. So the first thing you need to do is add your password. Uh, make sure your password is strong enough, and follow the instruction. Your password must include the following properties: it must be eight or more characters, an uppercase letter, symbol, and a number. All right. So I've done that. So, this is where you re-enter your password and you click I understand. Now this is the key file, key store file I was talking about earlier. So you have to download this key store file and save it in a safe place on your device. All right, so this is the key store file right here that we downloaded. Now this is just um, a test account, right? So you're, you're supposed to do this uh, account creation in, in private. So I'm just doing this for um example sake right so this account will not be used by me or by anyone associated with me so continue we have the key store file right here in my in my um device my laptop so this is the mnemonic um phrase so you're supposed to copy this and save it keep it in the in the safe place maybe in your um, in your mail or anywhere safe that you want to keep it all right so i'm going to save it here but remember you're not supposed to reveal this to anybody right 
um, and right here is your private key, which is very important. You're supposed to pack this text below on paper or digital or digitally and keep it somewhere secret and safe because anyone that has access to this totally has access to your phones. Right. So um, because this is this is an, an example and I just have to reveal everything. Right. But you're not supposed to reveal this. You're supposed to keep it secret and then you click continue. Um, are you sure you have noted down your mnemonic phrase? Yes, we have. Um, these are the mnemonic phrases. This student, water, and blah, blah, blah. Mnemonic phrase, private keys. Mnemonic phrase, private keys. All right, so now once we unlock our wallets. Now, don't forget your password because your mnemonic keys, which are these um, words here, is tied to your password. So, um, you remember when I started the video, I was like, you can log into your account using um, different methods, either your key store file or mnemonic phrase or your private key. Um, for the sake of this example, if if you want to log in with your key store file, you click click um, upload key, key store file and then locate where this download was um, saved. Right, most times it, your default download folder will be your download folder in your your um in your computer or your laptop or your apple or mac whatever but for the sake of this example we want to use um either the money okay let's use private key because private key was the last thing we copied so you're fixing your private key and remember you're not supposed to um reveal that to anybody and then your password and once you get everything right your account is supposed to unlock boom the account is unlocked so this is the binance um dex but remember this is on the test net is that not yet been moved to the main net but i'm sure by the time they move to the to the main net it won't um have much difference from what you're seeing right here and this also kind of looks like what we have on the centralized exchange but this is the future of trading this is the future of exchanges where you have private keys you have your own private key you have full access and full control over your funds right and it's really looking beautiful you can trade this is limit order uh the thing they have uh, let's see i can't find market market order here they just have a limit order but guys that's how to create um a Binance Dex account, and uh, I'm viewing this for the first time. <laughs> All right, so that's that's how to create a Binance Dex account. This is the future of of trading, like I said, where um you have full access to your funds, and by the time this is moved to the mainnet, I'm sure it's going to have great impact on on the price of BNB. Right, it's going to have great impact on price of bnb so guys that's all we have for you today so just tell us in the description below what you think about um the binance dex do you think is a good step personally i think it's a good step right uh just just tell us your view was it easy for you to create an account and let's know in the comment section